Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. A couple weeks ago I did a video reacting to, or you could say like reviewing, a little video, re a little show review. I did a video reacting to a trans character in Netflix's Big Mouth. You guys love that video, you asked me to do more, so here I am today. For today's video, we're not gonna be watching Big Mouth again, although there is another episode that I think I do wanna review on this channel, so keep your eye out in the next couple weeks, you might see a part two of the Big Mouth, you know, review. But about a year ago, the show South Park was in a lot of controversy because they released an episode with a trans character in it and it's like so bad. It's, it's, I'm just gonna like say it now, it's so bad. So for today's video, I'm gonna be reacting to a few scenes from that episode. I post videos every Monday and Thursday here on my channel, so if you guys are not yet subscribed, make sure that you do that right now. Go ahead, I'll wait for you. Are you done? Thank you very much. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter to keep us up to date with me as possible. And also I just made a Patreon, so if you guys would like to donate to this channel, the link is down below. With no further ado, let's get right into this South Park episode. A beautiful day in Morrison, Colorado, as we get ready for the sixth annual Strong Woman competition. Miss Woman, do you feel ready? Oh yeah, I'm ready, David. This is the first year that a trans woman is in the competition. How do you feel about that? Amazing. I feel honored to be a part of history. I have a lot of incredible trans friends who are athletes, and so we're all inspired this woman's competing. Miss Swanson, how does it feel to be competing today? I can't tell you how free I feel now that I've started identifying as a woman. I'm ready to smash the other girls. And is it correct you just started identifying as female two weeks ago? I'm not here to talk about my transition. I'm here to kick some fucking ass. Any words for the challenger, Miss Woman? Good luck, Heather. Luck is for dudes. Look at it. It's a sign. I'm the best. Okay. All right. Can you see now why I got so much backlash? Because I think it's pretty clear. I think it's pretty obvious why people are mad about that. This isn't even the worst scene. We have so much, oh my, it gets so much worse. But anyways, I do already have a video on trans athletes. You know, I talk about the science behind HRT, you know, the effects that HRT has on, you know, the benefits that people that are born assigned male at birth have. I also talk about how competition between trans women and cisgender women is actually like completely fair under certain circumstances. Of course, they chose powerlifting, like the most controversial of all of like the sports that trans athletes are in. Which first of all, USA powerlifting does not even allow trans women to compete. So like just the fact that she's allowed to compete is not accurate, but we'll let it slide, we'll let it slide. So the scene opens at this women's powerlifting competition. We see strong women, which if you don't watch the show, strong women as well as her husband, PC Principal, are supposed to represent like the whole PC culture, woke culture, like that whole movement you could say. So pretty much people like me. What does politically correct even mean? Like respecting others? I know it's so hard so annoying to be respectful of others, but like, you're gonna be fine. <laughs> Just something kind of subtle that I wanna point out. If you look at the sponsors for the women's powerlifting competition, it's all like tampon brands, like feminine wash brands, like vaginal cream, all this kind of stuff that's just supposed to be like, women have vaginas. The announcer or like the narrator, the guy who's introducing all the athletes, asks strong woman how she feels about there being a trans athlete competing. The strong woman is like, yeah, we love that. I'm happy to be a part of this. Like, it's it's all great. It's all great, you know? As Heather is introduced, you can see like the shift in her eyes and the shift in her tone. And she's like, oh shit, like, Actually, maybe maybe I shouldn't be supporting this. Maybe this isn't right. But you can tell that she's like biting her tongue because she has to be politically correct and blah, blah, blah. And then we learn that Heather just started identifying as female two weeks before the competition. That is not allowed. First of all, like I said, USA powerlifting bans all trans women, but even other sports organizations, all of these like Olympic level competitions, you have to be on hormones for at least 12 months and you have to undergo like extensive hormone regulation and examination to make sure that your hormones are on track with the other cisgender females. Because fact of the matter is testosterone does give you an advantage in sport. Again, I'm not gonna get too deep into like the science and all that kind of stuff. You can watch my video on trans athletes if you wanna learn all like the nitty gritty. Definitely recommend doing that. But the show is playing off of this stereotype Stereotype. It's playing off of this misinformed perception of trans people as this over aggressive masculine caricature that like dominates in women's sports and is out to hurt women and blah 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 Which is all stuff that's already being pushed by people that are transphobic It's already being pushed by the Ben Shapiro's by the Steven Crowder's They continuously claim that men are abusing transgender protections in sports to literally hurt women Maybe it's not physically hurt them but hurt their chances or hurt their opportunity to win these competitions Whatever it be, they're hurting women. Yeah, you could argue that this show's a joke, you know, people are just taking it as a joke. And like, 
Superficially, yeah, that might be happening. People might be taking it as a joke, but this representation does not end there. It sinks way deeper whether the viewer realizes it or not, especially when you are seeing something that you may not know a lot about or something that you may not have a lot of prior knowledge on. We're gonna move on, we're gonna continue. So the next scene I'm not gonna include because I don't wanna include literally every single part of this episode, but the next scene we pretty much see Heather Swanson knocking on PC family's door. She invites herself in and she continues to mock strong women, say like, ha ha ha, I'm the strongest woman ever, I beat you. Heather calls PC principal or the dad a transphobe for not, you know, agreeing with her or him. I don't even fucking know. Is this person really supposed to be trans? Like what pronouns do I use? This scene is basically just used to further build and further emphasize the fact that Heather is over aggressive, irrational and accusatory. You know, she calls literally anybody a transphobe that disagrees with her. We hear dramatic evil music playing as she's like walking around and like talking, all this kind of stuff. I hate this show. Since she's identified as female two weeks ago, she's won every female sport she's entered. Heather Swanson. Well, thank you, Janet. It's a great pleasure to be here. Now, there are some women out there who just want to run and hide. I'm talking to you, strong woman. Oh, Heather Swanson here will beat you anywhere, anytime, at anything. I, I don't know why she has such a grudge against you. But... Because I know her. He, she is my ex-boyfriend. When I finally broke up with him, he said one day he was going to get me back. She doesn't really care about trans people or women. He hates women. She hates women. He felt like he got beat by a girl and nothing makes Blade Jaggard more crazy than getting beat by a girl. Okay, all right, yep, yeah, okay. Oh my God, I'm dropping things. This scene opens, Heather's on a little talk show, you know? Again, they're emphasizing that she's identified as a woman for two weeks. It would not happen. This just would not happen. But then it says that she has dominated women's sports, which again, this does not happen. This whole notion that trans women are dominating women's sports it's just not true. Trans women have competed in women's sports for a long time now, you know, following the regulations of being on hormone replacement therapy for 12 months. They've competed and they're nowhere near dominating women's sports. Like that's just not true. Then after that, we finally learn Heather's true motive to being a trans athlete, to get revenge on women. They say that Heather doesn't even really care about trans people or even women. And in fact, he hates women. If this were true, if this person really did do all this to get revenge on an ex-girlfriend, like I feel bad, that's a lot to do. You must be real hurt. And again, it's a show itself. South Park, it's supposed to be a joke, but like jokes have consequences. You're not only reinforcing the idea that trans women athletes are actually men, you're also reinforcing the belief that all trans athletes or all trans people are these irrational and accusatory people that call anybody that disagrees with them a transphobe. Note the character choices too. All of this is very, very intentional. Even PC Principal, the politically correct dad that's supposed to represent the woke community, you know, the, the supportive trans ally community, even he admits that something isn't right about this situation. And in the next scene, it gets taken to the next level where we see PC principal actually, you know, snapping at Heather and saying, of course this isn't fair. You know, you went through a male puberty. Your body is different, which is showing that even the most supportive people in society, even they agree that this is wrong. Even they agree that something's messed up about this. If this is supposed to be me, if I'm PC culture, if I'm PC principal, I disagree. I fully support trans women in sport. You no, know, if you meet the circumstances that are necessary. We are moving on to the last scene now. <laughs> gonna come home? How am I gonna look my kids in the eye, Strong? Since they were born, we've taught them to accept and fight for those who are marginalized. That there's no gray area when it comes to inclusion and acceptance. Like all they're gonna see is a big, fat hypocrite. You can't just shut down because you're afraid of how the babies are gonna react. I didn't shove him, her, for being trans. I shoved her because she's your ex-boyfriend and she's being a dick. Do you think see babies will see the nuance? They're babies. Their minds are made up before anyone says anything. Daddy! Daddy! Who else is here? Daddy! 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 They must see the nuance to this whole situation. They realize that raising a gender-based issue of strength doesn't necessarily make one a bigot or a bully. All this time we were worried what the PC babies would think. And we didn't realize that our little babies are growing up. So this last scene, we see PC principal or PC dad, whatever you want to call him, sitting on a park bench, having this internal battle about, you know, whether or not he's a truly supportive PC principal. I don't even know what's going on with him, to be honest, but he's worried that his PC babies, again, note the character choice. PC babies is like woke community, woke culture, PC community, all that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? They're comparing us to babies. So funny. So great. The show is saying that PC principal is afraid of what they're going to think and that they will understand that just 
just because he's not supportive of Heather being in trans sports doesn't mean that he's a bigot. He also misgenders Heather when he's upset, which like, I don't know if Heather's actually supposed to be trans or not, but like, just doesn't sit right with me. And also, did you catch the part where Strong Woman is like, oh, PC babies, their minds are all made up before anybody else has a chance to say anything. People always try to tell me that this show like fights for both sides and they make jokes about both sides. I don't see it. This scene is suggesting that even PC people, even the PC babies, the, the woke trans allies, even they know that this is wrong, but they're just too afraid of offending people to say anything. We also hear subtle clues throughout the entire episode that even PC principal, even strong women, don't actually view trans women as real women. In the beginning, Strong Woman is talking to like an auditorium of children and she says, I wanna be a role model for all girls, all women to know that, you know, they can be strong or some shit like that. And then PC Principal adds, or people that identify as women. Girl, is that necessary? If you think that trans women are women, that would be included under saying that all women. But we also see a comparison to, um, I don't know their, their fucking kids' names, like Carter. Is his name Carter, Kyle, like all of those little boys or whatever. They all have like this dice club, like a boys club for playing board games. And they're all upset because the new school rules are making it so that girls have to be allowed to play their games. At the end of the episode, the girls in school challenge Heather to play a board game, which earlier in the episode, the young boys complain about the girls playing because they're just too smart and they, they don't play to just, you know, dress up as a pirate or whatever. They play to win, blah, blah, blah. But basically the girls end up beating Heather at the board game. And then Heather is like, that's not fair. They like to, you know, win. And I just like to dress up as a pirate or whatever, whatever. Literally saying the same exact thing that the boy said earlier. Further emphasizing or further highlighting the fact that she's actually a boy. And then she goes, I grew up a boy. You have an unfair advantage over me. Oh my God. I cannot with this fucking show. I In conclusion, this show deserved all the controversy it got. It is awful, horrible representation for trans people, specifically trans athletes. Literally just so bad. So bad. It teaches that trans women are actually men. It teaches that trans women are over aggressive and irrational and accusatory and call everybody transphobes. It teaches that trans athletes are actually just out to hurt women. It teaches that even politically correct people, even trans allies know that this is wrong. It teaches that trans women can compete after two weeks of identifying as a female after no hormone replacement therapy, which is not true. And it also teaches that it's okay to misgender a trans person when you are upset with them. This show is so bad. Like maybe if they had another trans character like balance it out and show what like a real trans person and looks like a real trans athlete looks like, maybe I would give it a little bit more credit, but like, it doesn't. It doesn't say anything. I don't know, you guys. This is why I never watched South Park because it just offended me so bad. Like, I was one of those PC babies. Blah, 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 blah. Call me a PC baby all you want. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, if you like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up down below. Let me know that you support me instead of awful representation like South Park likes to portray. Subscribe if you are not already and you would like to be, and also leave a comment. Let me know what the worst scene you thought was. Let me know what the worst scene that you thought was. I don't know how to fucking speak anymore. I've been speaking for too long. Other than that, I think I'm going to go. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in Monday's video. <laughs> Bye guys.